got a little project at work that um, I brought home here. I need to broach a keyway on this split collar for a shaft. And we have a good keyway broach at work that actually I just ordered fairly recently. But we've got this huge 50 ton press that isn't very controllable. So I decided to bring it home and I'll do it on my little shock press. I already did one earlier, but there's, I'm not going to go really step by step on this. There's a ton of videos on YouTube on broaching a keyway, but I just kind of thought I'd show you my application. I'll uh, loosen this up to where it'll fit down over the one inch. I don't know what you call that thing, bushing I guess. And get that down on there. And then set it down in the press. Just like that. It doesn't need to be perfectly centered for what I'm doing. I just basically need to straddle a keyway. And actually first I need to tighten this up. Got that good and tight on there. And I need to run my press up. I suppose that turned the volume down on my camera. I got a real problem every time the loud noise, the volume goes way down. I have to lift that up a little bit. And then drop this down into the slot. Get it turned the right way first. And then, um, if you don't know how a keyway brooch works, each one of these teeth is just a little bit larger than the one before it. And basically, you can see the chips down in the box there. It just basically chips away at that until it makes a keyway. Now, I got this padded box down here because once I hit the end, this uh, brooch pretty much shoots right out the bottom. And they're hard and you can break them so you want some sort of padding on the bottom I got this box from something I got off eBay recently it's got a bunch of wadded up paper in it did a pretty good job the last time but you do one full pass on this and then after that you've got this little shim you put in and then you do one more full pass and then you have your full full size keyway I, I might show a little bit of press in this, but I'm not going to show every bit of it. Get the rest of it set up here. Okay, I'll show the first little bit here. I, I'm a little bit limited on stroke in this press, so basically i got to go a certain distance, and I have several blocks that I put in to finish it up. But I'll just basically show this first push, and then once I run out of travel, then I'll show right at the very end where it is almost broken through. I'm just about ready to break a chip off there. You hear that? It just broke wet. It actually kind of pushes that chip down through and rolls it and then spits it out the bottom. That's the first tooth on there. And basically that's what you do. You just keep right on going. There's another one. These tooths just slightly larger than the one before it. cutting oil on there. I always like to do that. It kind of helps to uh, extend the life of the brooch. But okay, now I'm totally out of travel, so I have to release this and put some blocks on. When I come back, I'll come back right before probably the very last tooth, and then you can see how it kind of shoots it out the bottom. You'll see why I need to have this padded box under here. I'll be back. Okay, I'm down to the last little bit here, and as you can see, I've got a little bit of a ramshackle setup pushing this thing down in there. Um, I purchased these little ends off of eBay, and yeah, they work pretty good, but 
once I get a couple things like this stacked on here, I always make sure I sit off to the side. If that thing shoots out of there, I don't want it laying into my belly. But basically, we're just about through. And when you go through, it'll shoot that birch right, right out of there, right into that box. And of course, everything else will go flying too. Just like that. Now, of course, that bounced out of the box onto the concrete floor, but at least it didn't have fall as far as what it should have. But that really isn't the best way to treat that brooch, but I guess that's a bit of a YouTube blooper. The whole idea was for that to land in the box, and it did the first two times. But anyways, now I've got to go through there one more time with this little shim. And stick that shim in there like that, and then Put the brooch in there and then run that the whole way through one more time and you've got your keyway. But I'm not gonna waste my time showing that. I just thought I'd show you a little project that I brought home from work. You can buy these collars with the keyway in it, but I didn't have any and the job I'm working on tomorrow. I need one with the keyway, so that's why I decided to bring these home and do it and I'll have it ready to go for 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yep, got the keyway in there. Um, I'm done with this. I'm moving on to something else. Hopefully my own work now.